Well, hey there, everyone. So uh, taking a little break from the uh, throttle valve project to uh, come inside and work on something else, which is getting the forms built for uh, putting the machinery grout under the low pressure bed plate of the Todd engine. So during our fall work weekend on the 25th, uh, the first thing we're gonna do Saturday morning is mix up enough bags of grout in order to get at least the back portion of the uh, bed plate grouted in and this um, this oil pan and then possibly there's a section up front that we can also do at the same time uh, there's we can we can grout this thing in sections because of course in the, underneath here there's the crank pit that's down in concrete and then up front there's a fin that goes across and that kind of makes natural you know s segments of uh, this space here that has to be filled up with the grout. Now the purpose of the grout is um, is to firmly bed the engine into the concrete so that there is a good firm base of support underneath the entire bed plate. Um, the reason why it's used instead of just pouring the concrete up to it, well, if you pour the concrete up, of course, concrete has the rocks and all that and aggregate in there. It's not going to get up inside of the um, of the pockets that are under here, and it's also not going to flow in very well. So you won't get a good base. And concrete also shrinks as it uh, sets up. So that's the reason why concrete slabs are done with you know, with saw cuts or intentionally made uh, segments into it so that as the concrete sets up and it contracts a little bit, it will break right along those saw cuts instead of just randomly across the concrete pad. The non-shrink machinery grout that we're going to use actually has an agent in it that causes it to expand a tiny bit uh, when it sets up and it's like 0.002% or something like that something very small but enough so that when we pour that grout in there and it fills up that entire space and some of it goes in and then comes up into the holes uh, the voids underneath and then when it sets up it doesn't shrink away from the casting so um, yeah my idea here is to screw a 2x4 down and then uh, it with the uh, tap cons and then with the uh, decking screws screw the second 2x4 up on top of it and then before we go to pour it I'll have to get some caulking or something to go along the outside here to keep that grout from oozing out from underneath because there's there's going to be gaps and this stuff will go just about anywhere. Once the, uh, once the grout is in place and it's starting to set up, uh, <clears throat> then the forms can be taken out and any bit of the grout that oozes underneath the forms, we can just scrape that off the concrete and then basically clean it up and make it, uh, make it look nice. So I still have to figure out what to do here. Uh, I've got to make something that fits up against the bed plate so that it doesn't overtop and run into the uh, into that little trough. So I've got to figure that out, um, and <clears throat> oh, I'll show you here up front. So there's this little section right here between the fin and the sole plate, so we could fill this in in addition to the uh, the rocker base on the other side. So the priority is the rear, and I really don't know how many bags to get. I'm just gonna get a bunch of bags of uh, machinery grout and have it all here. If we happen to run out and don't think we have enough to do this, then we won't do it, but otherwise try to get this section done too, and then save for another day this big section in the middle, which, uh, probably be an all-day job just in itself uh, so 
that's the current project going on right now and uh, yeah if you're wondering why I'm not working on the throttle valves well simple thing I ordered the ingredients for the evaporust solution from Amazon guaranteed next day delivery if you order by so-and-so time and I checked today and the stuff's coming in on Saturday so yeah any of that crap that's on Amazon that says oh yeah we'll you know we'll we'll send it to you right away next day delivery or two-day delivery yeah screw that you'll get it whenever they decide to send it to you <laughs> they know they've got us they know we're not gonna go anywhere else so you know they don't really care but hey Amazon's a wonderful service that we have but you know you just got to put up with it so all right everyone take care